Okay, so it's been pretty much polished almost completely. The last bit of polishing will be after I glue everything on. As you can see here, it's coming up still. Nothing is glued down. But, I hope you can tell that this is now pretty, pretty clean. It's, there we go. So you can kind of see how much cleaner this looks than it was before. I rounded this end because it is, uh, in doing a, this breach before, I've noticed that getting this really right um, nice and smooth, nice and beveled and um, rounded helps with feeding along with these as well. So they're all kind of um, beveled on the edges. I'll do a little bit more work on that once I get it all glued down, but that's a good start to it. And I was also testing the fit, and it does fit in there. Nothing seems to catch or scratch, so this is awesome. This is the 17 30 seconds brass, which will kind of seat in just about that far. So this is really nice. It's got a nice tight fit. Um, yeah, so this is uh, about ready to be glued into place. I'm just going to go ahead and um, do a little bit more cleanup, and I think we'll be ready to glue it all down. That'll be the next step. <laughs> place this thing is now drying I'm clamping this down so that it stays on to the um, uh, dart finger there and this should be drying in a few hours so I'm gonna leave that alone for now I'm also gonna work on this I don't want to glue this on just yet um, I need to improve the seal on this because this seal in here is not quite enough to create a complete air seal with the um, plunger tube so I've got to work on improving the seal on this before I can glue this back on. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and let that sit. So this is continuing to dry, and it's pretty much dry. We'll take a look at it here. And you can see how easy and smooth everything is here. I went ahead and cleaned it up, cleaned up the uh, plastic pieces as well. So this is fairly ready to go. The only other things I could possibly do is when I'm actually install when I've actually installed it, gone through testing, and see if I can smooth things out as I go from there. But pretty much, it just kind of slips right on in. No fuss, no muss, no problems. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. This is what's gonna go into the barrel here. This is the 17 30 seconds, the actual barrel, and it will be the one that receives that um, bolt. And so what I've gone ahead and done is I've drawn here about, I'd say, uh, left the width of a dart head open, so I'm going to keep that piece there, and I'm going to cut out the rest of this, so that when the dart comes up, it'll catch here, and then it'll make the feeding that much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this brass right now, and then start shaping it and forming it and then we'll have that ready for installation into the uh, faux barrel. <laughs> 
Okay, it looks like this assembly is coming together rather nicely. You can see the work that I've done here to carve this out, form it, and then smoothen out the edges so that it feeds really nice and easy. You can see that it's uh, um, chamfered on the edges here, so that way it will feed really nicely inside of the uh, 916 brass. The inside of the barrel is also um, cleaned out as well so that it feeds the dart really easily. So this is coming together really nicely. And as you can see here, it fits in from the top like this, closing into place. So if you had a dart in here like this, for example, this will come in and keep it in place like this. Let's see if I can do this with just two hands. And this will come in from the back like so. Let's see if I can do this with two hands. There we go. So this will come into the back like so, this will hold in place like this, this will start to slide over and eventually lock into place, that was way too far, but lock into place like that. And then you'll have your dart coming in through. So you can see in here that the dart feeds in rather nicely, and again, without the mag, fits in about that far, and this will go in just about that far. Perfect. I just want just the head of the dart to fit in right in there so there's only really this much dead space and I've done the dead space reduction with 17 30 seconds in an X2 barrel so you can see that dart right there it's all nice and clean with just the head fed into the 17 30 seconds brass that is just exactly the way I wanted it now we're going to be fitting this brass into the faux barrel and you want it peeking out just ever so slightly. At least in the way I'm doing my breeches, I'm having it peek out just ever so slightly. Just like that much. Because this is going to feed the magazine this way. And if we had a dart, the dart ideally would be centered, but when the bolt push pulls it back, the dart will get pulled back just slightly to the back. And so, we'll have enough room just like that to clear it. So it shouldn't interfere. So it should be just the right length so that it should not interfere with the magazine. Perfect. Okay. So we'll get that measured out. I'm going to use some electrical tape to center it into this faux barrel. And then I will be using um, some glue to hold that down. But this is coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with how clean of the, this is all turned out. And we're getting really close to finishing up this 
reaching system. <laughs> testing on the fit for this bolt. It's going to be moving around because it's not really um, glued in or anything right now. But the idea is that it would be sitting in there we go. it would be sitting in just like that. Only going in about that far. And this would be better aligned once it actually has the um, rest of it in there, but it would slip in there and lock into place. And as you can see down here, these two pieces would be interlocking by about three millimeters or so. And that will create enough of a seal to be able to have ideally 100% air delivery. Um, especially once I, I know I've mentioned this before, get this to be airtight. So I'm really liking how that's turning out. The preliminary sizing and centering has been done. It's going to be a little bit more work once we glue it all in, but I won't glue it in just yet because I want to make sure things get tested out before I finalize how I want the barrel to be. That being said, this is the starting point of the sleeper breech, as you can start, sort of see here. And you can't tell that it's a breech, a uh, brass breech anyway, until you open it up. And as Liam says, that's when the... Uh, that's when everything is revealed. The lies are exposed. But right now it looks like it would just be a regular old um, long shot breach. Stop. But again, you know, you know better now that it's not. So I've gone ahead and worked on the air seal for this. Originally this came with an O-ring like this one. In fact, exactly like this one. And that would be what created the seal but it was not a really good seal. Um, it didn't quite fit right in here. Um, it still had a bit of a air leak, and this was a little bit smaller, a lot smaller, uh, outer diameter than the inner diameter of the actual plunger tube. So the solution that you can do is you can cut a channel here and put a, a, an O-ring about the same size as the plunger head O-ring mm -hmm. on top of here to create that. That creates a really excellent seal if you do it right. The other way, which is what I have here, is I've gone ahead and cut a neoprene washer and cut the inner hole to be large enough to accommodate the size of this as well as that little bit of a lip right there so that it goes and fits on flush as you can see here. And this creates a much better air seal. I don't think it's quite 100% just yet but it does create a really solid air seal. So that's uh, the benefit of this, once I glue it down. The not so beneficial portion is the fact that once I have this in place, ideally, 
for the sleeper look, it'll look like this so that you can't really see the brass peeking through inside. But with this added bit of space, it pulls the bolt back just about that much, about the same width as the washer itself, so the brass is peeking through. So the solution I'm going to have for that is I'm going to go ahead and do a thin wrap of electrical tape to match this black so that it'll kind of cover that hole, but also just still look stock, but perhaps looks like you just covered up the air hole. So that's what will happen there, and I think that's about good to go, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on, and then feed it through here, and then we'll glue down the whole thing. Okay, we are now ready to glue both halves of the breech together. This is already in place with the uh, washer glued down. So this is going to be interesting, as I mentioned, because there's going to be a little bit of a gap that's going to need to happen. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put some glue here just like we normally do, and it's already been scratched up here. So it will adhere really well. We'll push it through all the way. Then we'll adjust accordingly. So let me grab my glue. And lay down the glue on here. Let's take this off first. There we go. All right. And we'll spread the glue out. Okay, now this is where things need to be very carefully done. I'm go ahead and take this first. What you'll need to do is put this through. I'm not going to use the actual pin to hold it in place. I'm just going to use the nail that I've been using to pop it out. And then I'm going to carefully tease this in. Get all of that, and then I want it to go all the way to the edge, right, all the way. Then what we're going to go ahead and do, as I mentioned, it's not going to go in that far. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it down in here, and then I'm going to pull it lock into place, make sure that everything's aligned, pull it to lock into place, and go and pull this as far as it can go, and now I've got a perfect gap, just like that, and that is a perfect gap, right there, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this glue, and then cover this up with E-tape, and that will be ready to go. We are going to secure it. There we go. Well, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty good. And it still works. Nice and easy. Okay. Awesome. All right. What I'm going to do is let this dry and then move on to the next parts. There we go. So here is here is the um here is the back. I also cleaned out the um, hot glue back there so it's nice and even. Here's the front of the breech, nice and clean. And it will go right into the 1730 seconds barrel perfectly. Yep, pretty happy about that. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And then, uh, We'll tackle this again and see what else is next.